John, the engineer, Jermel, and this is my fourth report to the Brantford Inventors Club on the fast I started a month before the meeting four months ago. So 17 weeks I've been fasting now, 119 days. Feast or famine, I've eaten at least 15 or 16 times over that 17 weeks. So which is like, tried to keep it less than once a week to see what would happen. Of course, when you're eating two quarter pounders a day of your own fat, you know, you don't get too hungry. And you know that I uh, use my miracle water to make sure I'm not hungry. So after 119 days, uh, I went and got a blood test. Well, no, last month. I went and got a blood test. And, uh, oh, about six months ago, the doctor wanted to put me on statins, Crestor, or Lipitor, he suggested. And um, my, I had, here are the numbers. My cholesterol was 8.31. My glycerides were 4.02. And I should get to target 1.7. And, uh, well, anyway, what happened? I went and got the test this time. And I'll start with the uh, cholesterol, which originally was 8.3. And it's gone down to 6.95. So that's a drop of 16%, about a sixth. The HDL cholesterol, the good stuff, uh, I was at 0.95, and they said you get to 0 1.29, .2, 1 and I'm up to 1.03. So that's an 8.5% increase, well, 1.12. The LDL cholesterol, the bad stuff, well, I was at 5.53, now I'm down to 5.23. So, 5.4% 5 better. Um, now, of course, the uh, cholesterol HDL ratio was 8.75 going in, and coming out now at 6.75. So, that's a 22% drop. So, the glycerides. 4.02, he was really worried about those. Target, 1.71. Now, 1.52, <laughs> under target, okay? Two thirds gone, okay? Two thirds of the bad stuff gone, I'm living on one third. And uh, finally, there's something here called ALT, I don't know what it is, I was 18, and now I'm down to seven, which is a drop of 61%. So another two-thirds drop in those kind of targets. Now, what I find interesting is that my cholesterol didn't go down all that much. And I'm wondering if the fact my body didn't autolyze and cannibalize the cholesterol means that it really didn't want to take it out of circulation. And maybe the medical profession have laid a bum rap on cholesterol. Yeah. So, I'm saying by my results, everything has improved. Everything. Some by lots, and the surprising ones by little. But I'm saying if they increase by so little after such a strenuous test, maybe there's something wrong with their diagnostic techniques. So, those are my results after the 17 week fast. Everything better. I'm hitting 135 now, okay? Now, I started out over 183. I wasn't sure where. Throughout all my life, I was always between 183 and 193. So I might have already crossed 50 pounds from when I started. I don't know, but for sure, 48 pounds. Now, I'm going to do a quick explanation. Now, I've told you about the urine therapy and how I sustain myself. And now I'm going to do a quick printout. I looked into what's in urine. Now, at the last video, I mentioned the University of Alberta people found 20 researchers over seven years, 3,000 chemical components. But let's take a look at my daily nutritional requirements that are provided by one eight ounce glass of urine. All right, so uh, vitamin A, well, uh, just 1%. Uh, vitamin C, 1%. Calcium, 
daily requirement, one cup. You drink eight cups, covered. Um, <laughs> iron, 53 55%, two cups, you're covered. Vitamin D, 99%, one cup, you're covered. Vitamin E, well, that's only 1%. Vitamin K, 2%. Thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, 6%. Um, folic acid, 8%. Vitamin B6, 6%. Big numbers, you know, when you think about it. Uh, vitamin B12, just 2%. Biotin, 4%. Pantothenic acid, 5%. Phosphorus, 6%. Iodine, 2%. Magnesium, 16%. Zinc, 55%. Uh, no copper, manganese 46%, chromium 57%, molybdenum 89% of my daily requirements from one cup of my own kidney milk. You have that done on your own urine? No, 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 that's from the internet. Oh, Almost okay. equivalent yeah. to your last meal. Yeah, pretty well, you know. <laughs> well, I'm not good. Put it this way, I'm not lacking much and I'm getting a little bit of everything even if the... Um, Where did the, it come from though? Well, it must be from previous storage, you know, yeah, and stored in the cells, and I, as my fat cells and things get cannibalized, it must be freed up. But I mean, those are pretty rich, wild sustenance, which can explain why I've been telling you I ain't been hungry. Right, Dale? Have I complained about being hungry in the whole 17 weeks? No! I just missed the taste. I'll cut a little piece of something and suck on it and spit it out, and I'm happy. So, it's weird, you know, but I haven't felt any weakness. Well, a little bit of weakness recently, but not much. Now, quickly, I told you last time about the specialty pee. Urine from cows. And I was wondering, anybody got any farmers out there who's got cows? Because I would love to approach a cow and get me some. Because here's what's in cow pee pee. All right, it's got... Urea nitrogen, ammonium nitrogen, total nitrogen, alatoin, calcium chloride, copro, porphyrin, creatinine, magnesium, potassium, sodium, sulfate, uric acid, unproporphyrin, leucocytes, glucose, protein, my god, it goes on. Urea, uric acid, nitrogen, sulfur, copper, iron, sodium, potassium, salts, carbolic acid, ammonia, sugar, lactose, I don't have that. Um, vitamin A, B, C, D, E, creatine, um, R, hydroxide, colony stimulating factor, I'm not going to read that one, uh, gonandrotropine, calic crime, alatoin, phenols, lactate, and a whole bunch of ditronis in his enzymes. Wow! And I want me some. So if you know any farmers with cows out there, and if I know anybody who gets sick, Tell them I'm going to ship my buddy out there to be a boarder. Yeah. And all you got to do is give not only the cow's mammary milk, but also some of the cow's kidney milk too. Dairy or pee? Pee. I want the pee. Everybody can get the milk. Yeah. But I want the pee. Two types of cows. Hey, dairy and beef is what he has. Oh, I see. Jeez, I don't know. Steer. I don't know which would. Why would anyone be better? Well, we'll think about it by next time if I'm still on my facts. Yes, Bill. In Africa, they use cow urine, but it has streptococcus in it. That's what they claim it was. So that's a very bad disease. Well, I can't believe it can survive in urine if HIV can. Yeah. Okay. So I doubt that. Yeah. Anyway, that's. I'd like to know, but I would guess dairy cows, because most, you know. I would think if you were a farmer in an agricultural country, you'd really like to have your cow given milk than just pee. Okay. So anyway, but still, I mean, some this could become a cottage industry, you know. Farmers taking in sick people who want to go on a urine fast, their own, and supplement it with some cow urine to really get strong. Hey, if you're dying, you'll do something desperate. And that's just, this isn't so desperate if you check out part. Not necessarily. Most of my friends a couple of years ago in Mexico, um, a family was trapped for 35 days. The man survived because he drank his urine. But the mom and the child refused and they died. So there will be people who will refuse. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that was, there was no opportunity to educate them. That's but show them the internet, maybe a guy who's dying will listen. Okay. 
But I can understand how Pedro down under the rubble couldn't convince the wife to do it. Fine. You know, I mean, so he's going to get himself a smarter wife next time. I just okay? lost a friend to cancer and he wouldn't try anything I did. Ha, ha, ha. How long did his cancer take him? Quickly. Yeah? Anyway, what can I say? I mean, if they don't want to do their homework and they've been too conditioned to break the conditioning, well, they're going to get what they deserve, right? Make your bed, lie in it. Okay, next steps now. Now, I went from like 185 pounds. This was my old suit, okay? Now, 185. This was the sign of my suit at the time, right? I'm not going to show you how much I've lost. Oh, no. <laughs>